the Toronto Blue Jays agreed to a three-year, $36 million deal with free agent pitcher Yusei Kikuchi. Earlier this offseason, Ross Atkins had sent a video to Kikuchi, which featured a closer look at the city of Toronto, the fans he'd be playing for, the great facilities, staff, and players. Kikuchi said the passion and professionalism of the video helped make his decision to sign with the Jays. For those who are not too familiar with Kikuchi, let's get to know him better. Second inning trouble. One, two to Springer. Got him looking. Wow. For starters, he's a starting pitcher for the Toronto Blue Jays, and he should slide into that fifth spot right behind Kevin Gosman, Jose Barrios, Hunjin Ryu, and Alec Manoa. Yusei is 30 years old, and he's a lefty from Morioka, Japan, and he's actually played the majority of his baseball career in Japan, pitching there from 2010 to 2018. He had terrific numbers, putting up a record of 79 and 59 with a 285 ERA in those nine seasons. His career year came in 2017 when he went 16 and 6 and had an ERA of 1. 197. In January 2019, Kikuchi decided to make the move to the major leagues and play for the Seattle Mariners. However, his MLB career did not get off to a great start as he posted a 546 ERA, having a 6 and 11 record with the Seattle Mariners. The next year, he only pitched 47 innings in the shortened season and he went 2 and 4 with a 517 ERA. However, his third year in the major leagues was his best yet, putting up all star numbers in the first half of last season. He posted a 318 ERA over his first 15 starts last season, becoming an American League All-Star for the first time in his career. Although his second half wasn't that good as he put up a 622 ERA in his last 14 starts, ending his season with a 441 ERA. On the bright side, he did have a career year last season, also finishing with a career high 9.3 Ks per 9 innings, which puts him at the top 20 out of all MLB starters last season. In a game against the Jays last season, Kikuchi went 7 strong innings, only giving up 1 run in a Seattle 7-2 win in Buffalo. Even though his MLB career did not get off to the best of starts, the first half of last season should be a sign of hope that he can get back to form, especially with the help of Pete Walker. Walker said after Kikuchi's first bullpen session that he commands his breaking pitches very well, along with his off-speed pitches and split finger. Danny Jansen agreed, saying that he has a great cutter and feels that that is Kikuchi's best pitch. So look out for that pitch to cut low and outside with two strikes on batters this season. The Jays' starting rotation is set to start the 2022 season, and it's going to be lights out for hitters, especially if Kikuchi can find his form once again. What do you think about the Jays signing Yusei Kikuchi? Let us know in the comment section down below. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe, and as always, go Jays go!